So why am I in my potting shed? Well, I've had the privilege of having two weeks of annual leave. And I recognise that it is actually a privilege not just to have the annual leave, but to have a garden and a potting shed that I could um, spend time in. And as I was spending that time, I had the opportunity to do quite a bit of thinking. And I thought I would bring that sort of context to your screens. But during the two weeks that I've had off, I've been able to take it at a really nice pace. I've uh, popped into the garden every day. I've always done something, sometimes only like 15 minutes, sometimes two, three, even more hours, and lots of sitting around, which has been really, really great. So I've really had the chance to um, enjoy the space. But because I neglected it, there were so many weeds. I've got like three massive brown bin bags full and five other bags full and some tubs full of all these weeds. And clearing them gave my garden space. Lots of space, which has been great. And I've created a whole new flower bed. It's like a blank canvas. So I wander up and down the garden, thinking about um, which plants I might move that might enable another plant to kind of flourish a bit better. Or I think about, um, actually, maybe this plant needs to be thrown away now because it's really past its best. I'm absolutely rubbish at doing that. I kind of keep on to all the old scraggly ones thinking maybe they'll come back to some sort of bushy life, but it doesn't really happen. And then I think about what plants I could divide. And then I've been pondering about my new flower bed and I think, ah, what should I put there? What colours um, would work really well? And what heights might work? And where would the plant be in two or three years time? So have I got enough space around it for it to grow in that way? And I think, oh, is it too sunny? So what plants would be best in that sort of sunny spot? And, uh, and the soil, what's the soil like? And what plant would grow well there? And then at the end, most days I've just sat on my chair and I've imagined and I've dreamed and I've schemed a cup of tea in hand and it's been great. At various points in the Gospels we read about Jesus going away to pray, going away from the crowds, taking himself away from the people with their expectations with their demands, with their needs, and just being with God. I wonder, when he went away to pray, what did he pray for? And I wonder how he prayed. Did he think about what God's kingdom might look like in two or three years' time? in 2000 years time. I wonder if he thought about his teaching and which of his words would last, which words would make it into print. I wonder if he thought about the people that he encountered and thought about what they might need to let go of and then what life, their life, the life of their community might look like if they did holding all these questions before God. <laughs> I wonder if he pondered people's reactions to his presence. If he clocked the people that thrived under his teaching. And if he noticed the people that wilted under his gaze. Did he, at the end of the day, review it with God? Talk it through? Or maybe at the beginning of the day when he prayed, did he plan for what the day might look like, what the future might hold? Talking all through with the one that knows him inside and out. I wonder, because he had that time on that space, did his plans change because he had the opportunity to kind of 
think that one through a bit more. And did he spend time sitting, dreaming, imagining and scheming with God? I've had to really fight against my um, nature to automatically respond to the space that this time has created by filling the spaces. There is always more to do. But I've had this opportunity, the invitation to imagine um, what might it mean for me to going forward? Are there changes that I need to make? Plans to let go of or adapt? I've had the space to think about what new possibilities might emerge and um, how they might look in three or five years time. I've, I suppose, posed myself the question, am I going to react out of wanting to fill the space or am I going to react out of the time I've spent dreaming and scheming with God? So, that's what I've been thinking about as I've been pottering away in my shed and my garden. But you are all very different to me. Um, some of you are really fighting to find space. Um, some of you it's just not possible. And some of you have got some of that space, that gift. Whatever your situation, I wonder what God has been saying to you.